Jenna Bushager is in for Hoda. And if there's one actress whose star is truly rising in Hollywood, it's this young lady right here. We love her, Zoe Doi. She's certainly making a name for herself, whether it's in blockbuster comedies like Why Him, alongside Brian Cranston and James Franco, or indie hits like last year's Everybody Wants Some. Now Zoe is starring in Before I Fall, based on the best-selling novel about a popular high school girl forced to relive the same day over and over again. And it gives her a new perspective on a relationship with family, including her mom. Let's take a look. Well, you're lucky to be so popular. I mean, when I was a senior, I hadn't even kissed a boy. Everyone said my eyes were too close together and that I looked like a fish. <laughs> yeah. I have to get to work, honey. I think you're beautiful. I love it. Uh, it's so nice to see you. So nice yeah. to see you. I love you guys so much, and I had to match. Yes, yeah, I know. We're glad you, you. called really. us last I called night. ahead, and I uh, had to match. So well, you like it. You are so good in this film, and it's it's one of the main themes is mother daughter relationships. And I understand you had a chance to watch it with your mom, whom we adore yes. around here, Leah Thompson. Everybody loves your mom. Yeah, I know. She, she's. I love my mom. Too. Yeah, no, she's, she's, she's very lovable. You know, yeah. I, when I watched it with her, I immediately, I just had to grab her hand, and I had to tell her how much. I love her, and, yeah. and and it reminded me that I can never thank her or, or or appreciate her too much. You know, this is a movie that, in a time of what feels like unparalleled meanness, it, this yes. is a t this is a movie that reminds people to be kind to themselves yes. yeah. and kind to others, and it, that's really moving. And it shows what happens to, uh, when you aren't kind. It shows yeah. the repercussions of you yes. of that choice. Yeah, and it, it shows this this young woman learning to take responsibility for her actions and becoming a leader in her own life. And even if she. She's not the one that's doing some of the horrible things. Yes. She is not preventing it either. No, she's a bystander it's, it's entirely. It's, I've read this book, and it's a little bit like Groundhog's Day meets Mean Girls, uh, but but it also has a really sort of philosophical message. I know, yeah, it, it feels like this it. like meditation piece on life and yeah. love, and um, and it's so exciting that it's getting this that that it's, the world is getting to see it because you know we made this small little movie, and I think the irony of making <laughs> a movie about not having having enough time is that we did not have enough time to do yes. this, you know. So yeah. it's, it's really exciting. It, it's found a home, hopefully, yeah. it, and it's based on, as you said, this this yes. book that was very successful in the young adult category. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, very successful. And you said it's very true to the book because you have done three now and so, some of the others weren't as closely. No, I mean, I think this oh. really, really sticks to the spirit of the book and the story and um, I love it. I love your spirit. Don't yeah, you love she's it? She's so like, darling. Oh. You, were, you <laughs> were 20 when you filmed this movie. I was. And so you were a little bit out of high school, but it is about a, about a high school girl. Was yeah. it fun to kind of revisit those days? Was it fun? <laughs> <laughs> Like it's Did you one love version school? of like oh to relive the same day over and over again, but then to live it in high school. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah that Were was... you a fan of high school? I was. You know, I went to I went to an arts high school that was really wonderful, yeah. and there were so many people with purposive behavior, and they knew what they wanted to do. But middle school could be equated to oh, yes. hell. Yes. For everybody. <laughs> but we, were you, you know, you had well-known parents. Your dad's a very well-known director, and all of that stuff. So, uh, did, did did they want you to follow their footsteps in this business, or did they just say whatever makes you happy, baby? I think I've always been a very theatrical. I believe. And loud and that. obnoxious. Those are all the qualities necessary to be an actor, right? <laughs> well, for this. loud and obnoxious. Right. Yeah, well, let's test your your yes. your, uh, your your knowledge, knowledge of, uh, on teen talk. Oh, I'm being tested. Yes. Okay. By the way, I knew none of these. High school. Ready? Okay. Yeah. Maybe okay. it's changed since then. Yes. Keck. Huh? What does keck mean? What? Did I pronounce it right? Is that English? Keck. Yeah. K-E-K. -E -K. It's an app. It's a, no, it no. means to laugh out loud. LOL is so over yesterday. Yeah. What does hundo P mean? Oh, I know that one. What? It's 100%. It's what one do, more than 99%. Like do you use hundo P? Is hundo P something you would say? Hundo P. Okay. Hundo P. <laughs> Sounds dirty. What about moss? <laughs> moss. It's on a tree. It's <laughs> Not green. that guy. This has one S. Oh, is it like moss. an abbrevi- M-O-S? Like, yes, M-O-S. Mom M -O -S. over shoulder. Mama Dur 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 By the way, that terrifies me for my little girls growing up. Are they ever going to say mom over shoulder? That's something different But now for you're, a, you're one step ahead, you know. Oh, yeah. Mom. Don't say mom's over shoulder. I think if shoulder. you looked up adorable in the dictionary, your picture would be Definitely. There. You are so cute. It's good. Before I Fall is in theaters this Friday. We wish you all the best. Go see it. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.